Dear colleagues, in this clinical picture, we present a case of 25-year-old male patient with a sudden onset, persistent and severe abdominal pain in his umbilical area which was followed by massive hemotechasia. At admission, he was in hemorrhagic shock and received supportive treatment including 10 packs of red blood cells. His bleeding stopped spontaneously and became hemodynamically stable. At physical examination, few neurofibromas and cafe au lait molecules were seen on his body. His father has had similar lesions on his body too. Slit lab examination showed bilateral lesion nodules. The patient's laboratory results were normal except for anemia. Gastroscopy, colonoscopy, and even mesenteric artery and geography and scintigraphy did not identify any cause for his bleeding. However, Abdominal CT scan revealed a 3 cm mass with soft tissue density in the proximal jejunum. A 3 cm tumor was seen in that location using double balloon enteroscopy, and biopsy samples led to the diagnosis of gastrointestinal stromal tumor, which was removed successfully by surgery. He has been followed up as an outpatient for over two years and has had no complaints. The patient was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis type 1 based on the patient's family history and clinical findings. Neurofibromatosis type 1 is an autosomal dominant inherited disorder characterized by skin lesions and peripheral sheet tumors. Patients tend to develop rare gastrointestinal tumors, including GIS and neuroendocrine tumors. GIS occur at an earlier age in patients with neurofibromatosis type 1 and are frequently located in the small intestine and may present either with abdominal pain or GI bleeding.